As a follow-up to the last video, I wanted to get out with the new 2.75 as well as the 2.5 inch boom cylinder for Hydros Plus uh, on the right now just on the John Deere back hose, but this really uh, will work on 260, 260B, 270B, and I believe the 270A. And there's also, I need to confirm a 275A. I should have already done that, but I haven't yet. With that, what I, what I wanted to do, actually I went home, I put the two and a half on the one series, as well as this one. And to be honest with you, the two and a half is more than enough for the one series. It's a shorter tractor, it's not as heavy. Um, now I do have my pressure set to where the backhoe would get at least 2,500 PSI. So uh, sometimes it's hard to change those pressures for every test that you want to do, but this is really in the preliminary stages of it. So I'm not, uh, well, and I didn't video it, so I'm not really trying to, I want to make sure that whenever I have the tractor and I'm showing something on video, it is very clear the settings of it, right? So if that was a tractor off the factory floor, the backhoe would actually only get about 2100 PSI. But that said, went home with the one series. It worked really well uh, from the test that I did. And, and you know, if you're asking yourself, well, why not just go with the bigger one? And the answer is, you know, there's trade-offs to everything in life, including hydraulics, right? And if you go with a larger one, you're gonna need more hydraulic flow. That's gonna slow things down a bit. Now, is it a material difference? I don't know. Um, but if you can do everything you need to with the one series with the two and a half, there's really no reason to go bigger. You're just, you know, wasting money at that point. That said, I had thought to myself, well, uh, was I a little bit overzealous? Did I not test the two and a half quite enough? Maybe it will work just fine on, on the 270 or the 370. So I want to come out here and test it. Um, now keep in mind this tractor, uh, not only is it larger, this, this particular model has loaded tires. It's got a bunch of clay mud shoved up under it right now. So it's quite heavy on the rear end, but before now I spent time with the two and a half and you could get yourself and move yourself around but I think uh, for, unfortunately for me, I'm gonna probably end up carrying two models. Now, if you wanna get the 2.75 and put it on your one series, that's fine. Uh, but I think the two and a half is a better fit for the one series. And this is gonna be a better fit for the bigger tractors. So um, let me just show you a little bit of use here and, uh, and then we'll wrap this video. So. Right now, I'm at uh, what's probably around eight gallons per minute. Uh, anywhere from seven and a half to eight and a half is what I'll say. And, uh, you know, obviously that does not uh, affect power, but it does affect speed. Now, these are some kind of brushy bush and part of it's dead, so uh, I'm not, this isn't like I'm smashing down an oak tree. But one of the things you really can't do with the stock setup is like when you go and you push down something like this, you can't push down hard enough to really break things off like this. Um, you know, and this, this backhoe is, or this tractor is definitely heavy enough, but you know, you're not able to do that. And I can put myself almost up in the air here. Bring, bring, put ourselves up in the air, put all of that force down on those trees, that makes, you know, you see the, go off the, off the ground here, that makes for usability that is in, you know, maybe you don't need to get that far off the ground, but it just makes a huge difference when you're trying to do things like clear brush um, and push, you know, big stumps. If I'm digging a stump, I like generally to keep the tree attached. I'm gonna flop around here. I wanna keep the tree attached so that I can use the tree to pull itself out. But, you know, that's not always possible. Goodness. It was a little tougher than I thought it was gonna be. All right, well. 
feel like I got the root of. I'm trying to grab the root of this tree, grabbing the root of another tree, maybe not, but something right there. And this goes also for pulling back. I mean, you're going to have less power pulling back, but compared to what we had before, you can actually you know, pull on something like this right here. We're, we're pulling back and up. tougher than I thought it was going to be and if I'd have got that out with the stock set up, not, not that easily for sure. Alright, well, so there's one example. So I got a lot of this to do, obviously, and this, you can see out through here. It's just this, it's this old growth and grown up and these little probably some kind of invasive uh, plant that's uh, taken over when it's hard because there's a lot of it's kind of a low-lying area and so uh, I think it's harder for the more native trees to grow that well so, so you dig this up and then we'll say we got this tree right here we want to dig out I don't know what that thing is but uh, now that we have the more power, we can just go up here. I'm going to pull my outrigger up. Set myself over to the side. Uh, my camera kicked off, so I needed to uh, reset. So this isn't exactly where I was. But what I was going to do is tee up on this tree here. So I pull my outriggers up, right? That's going to help me move. Now, keep in mind, in the back here, I don't have the bucket down. I've just got the wheels down because for what I'm trying to do, I need to be more agile. If I were trying to dig something deeper, I want more stability, I would go ahead and put the, uh, put the bucket down. Now, you could put the bucket down, but that's going to make you longer. It's going to make it harder to move yourself around. So, after doing that, we can just put our bucket here, move ourselves over. You know, you don't want to get up too high. Oops. But, oh my, oh, there we go. I think I'm pushing too hard. All right, so now, you can tee up on this tree. I didn't have to get out of the seat. Obviously, if you're not trying to make a video, or if you have to do a little bit of practice, you're going to get a little bit better than that. And you're just going to be out here working just like you would be like on a mini excavator or something like that. Now, I kind of got myself too close to this tree. So we'll see. Well, actually, if I'm too close, I'm going to back myself up here. I got enough power. So my, my challenge right now is not the boom, but it's the... Uh, What happens when it's gross and muddy up like it is here is, come on, break loose. Because as I was, uh, that's back a little bit. As I was messing around or, or digging that out, what was happening is my front tires were digging into the ground. And so, because of that, you can't really roll yourself the way you might want to roll yourself. Keep in mind, I've got not only Boom Plus, Bucket Plus on this. Ooh. So, Got a little more power than you're gonna have with a stock tractor. Ooh. What I'm trying to do 
If you wonder why I'm not digging differently, it's because this is a, it's like a thorn type tree. I don't want to push it on myself. Right. So that right there, no, we're pushing itself up. But well, that's something that you'd never be able to do stop. My next uh, product may need to be a seat belt for the backhoe. And like right here, it's hard to tell, but like I'm pushing down hard enough to bring myself off the ground here. That right there, as far as the usability point of view for this for a tractor like this is huge because before you literally were so weak that you do like this you can't even get you know when, when you're doing something like this you can't even get your bucket into the ground now also keep in mind I am digging with a 16 inch bucket 16 inch bucket down. Not to get slapped in the face. 16 inch bucket is not your stump busting bucket. Really, you're moving dirt. Yep. Pull it out of the ground. See that right there, lifting out there? That's just not something you're gonna do with a stock setup. All right, come on. Almost got it. Man, these roots are relentless. Good soil though. Finally broke loose. I'm gonna keep my camera in the right spot. Alright. So and then I would pull my outriggers up. Come on. Walk it around. My uh, side to side is my weakest link right now. There we go. Another thorn tree. Oops. I've got my uh, I've got my front wheels. Oh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So, it's a little muddy, and so if you're wondering why I can't uh, seem to move myself backwards and forwards, that's, that's why right there. So, we're out here uh, in, in quite a bit of mud, and after digging and, and fighting with this tree, just a bit that's what your front end looks like so you're not going to move yourself around if we were out here on much more solid ground we wouldn't have that trouble now i know it looks like a mess but the the difference in the ability to dig with this uh, with the 2.75 is is daylight and dark completely different tractor on the backhoe uh and i honestly i don't feel it's like it's overpowered yet. I mean, what I'd love to do is the is for it to feel overpowered, but I actually don't think it is. But I do think that that's really the top end of what we want to do on the boom cylinder because we got to save some room for the next one to come up there. All right, there. Um, that one is the strongest of the three, certainly stock. Uh, that. The bucket and this one are very, uh, they're comparable. 
uh, if you get the Hydros Plus version. So, will that one get an upgrade? I think it's likely. That one on the 270, 260, they're all different. So that, that's one reason it's probably going to be last. The other reason it's going to be last is because it just does happen to be the strongest one. And, and until you get these two cylinders, it is not the weakest link. So more to come soon. Uh, I hope this is informative. And if you all who have backhoes are getting excited about it, uh, you have good reason. It is totally different tractor with uh with the additional hydros plus versus driving one stop questions comments leave them below thanks for watching